really excited today because I'm gonna be unboxing my new phone. It's been a long time coming. I haven't upgraded in quite a while. It's been about two years and four months, but who's counting um, since I last got this Pixel. It's the Pixel 6, so this is the phone that I've had for this long. And now I upgraded to the brand new Samsung Galaxy, um, which is the one that just uh, was just released in January of this year, 2024. So let's get to unboxing. I'm excited. Um, before moving to, or before switching to Android, I was an iPhone gal, and I was an iPhone gal for a really, really long time. Um, and I switched to Android when I got the Pixel. And the reason I did that was because I really liked the uh, camera and some of the features for photo and video editing within the like the system of the device. But um, I, after a while, I started to get really frustrated with my Pixel because this is like the one with like 128, I believe, uh, of memory. And that was a problem. Um, I also started to get frustrated with it because it started to like freeze sometimes or just like be really slow but in part i know that's because of me kind of abusing the storage limit so anyways um this i i wasn't sure whether i was going to get another android or go back to iphone in fact i thought i really wanted to get the newer iphone that came out in the fall of 2023 but and i was going to go through with it i even like took the time to put the order in, you know, I placed the order over the phone. I was talking to a representative from my mobile company, um, mobile service company, just to like kind of go over everything. I was gonna trade this pixel in and all that. But then, I don't know, like I uh, just changed my mind. I went to a major event and a friend of mine had a Samsung Galaxy, not this newer version obviously, but the previous version. And I was just amazed at the zoom capacity in the camera for both video and um, photos. And the, the quality of the photos was really good too. So I started getting really interested, especially because of the zoom. I really love taking video. And now that the new Samsung Galaxy S24 came out, I decided to get it. And I'm really excited. I've never, again, I've never owned a Galaxy. So this is gonna be a first for me. I know that people that own Galaxies are really passionate about the, the phone and they pretty much upgrade to Galaxies. So I wonder if that's gonna be my case. Um, but let's open it up because this is an unboxing. And let me know what you guys love about Galaxies, uh, pros and cons. Let me know any tips or any advice, because I'm a first time Galaxy user and I got the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Let's go on and open it. I wonder if I will be a true convert to Galaxy. But I am excited that I stuck with Androids this time and that I chose to get a Galaxy for the first time. Okay, right away, got the yellow one. I really love the color. It's very pretty so far. Looks really pretty. My first impression is that I really like how sleek and modern it looks. Obviously, I see all the lenses, so that's a good sign. I think it's gonna have really great uh, quality when it comes to videos and photos, which is really exciting for me. I'm a former uh, multimedia TV journalist, so obviously this is really exciting. And I'm excited to see like the, you know, the capacity for Zoom, editing, uh, quality of pictures, videos, everything. So first I'm excited about that. I really, really love it aesthetically speaking. It's very, very, very sleek. And it's not as big as I thought it was gonna be. I do have a smaller hand, but I can still hold it pretty well. Um, I think I can still work with it. Uh, one of the other features that I'm excited about um, is that it has this stylus, and I know that you can write with it. And obviously I'm a former 
a TV journalist, so writing is another passion of mine, obviously. I don't know how much you can get into um, writing with this with a galaxy or with this specific galaxy, but I'm excited to learn or what all I can use this stylus for. Um, but this is really exciting. It's my first phone with a stylus, so that's cool. Um, yeah, so I can't wait to start playing with it and start using it. If you are an avid, um, an experienced Galaxy user, let me know what features you love, um, what else you recommend that I do with it, and what apps you know I should download. I like apps obviously for photography, video, and um, just fun apps and really functional apps for everyday use, but also for like writing, and I also enjoy reading. So the phone also came with a type C cable. It doesn't come with the cube for it, but it does come with the um, cable. So I guess that's fine. I have a cube here at home. So, but if you don't have one, then I guess you would have to purchase one. Um, the stylus, as I already mentioned, it comes with a guide with a QR code. Well, I am setting up the phone now. Um, you can do an easy transfer and just download the Samsung Easy Transfer app uh, from the App Store, like once you turn it on and go through the different steps. So it's at 93% now, so almost all my stuff from the Pixel is now being transferred to the new Samsung, Ga Samsung Galaxy. And um, I just transferred, I did an entire transfer of everything. Just waiting for it to finish. When, when I uh, turned on the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra for the first time, um, that got me thinking and you know whenever I was considering going back to an iPhone from the uh, Pixel 6 was uh, the reasons I thought about going back to an iPhone was for compatibility you know just to be compatible with like a Mac uh, like a MacBook and you know with the airdrop features with Apple products um, I also did have an Apple watch and you know stuff like that from whenever um, I had an iPhone, but then, um, you know, and then I did consider that once um, it was time to get the new, if I would have gotten the new iPhone, it was going to have a better camera than iPhones did back when I switched to the Pixel when I became an Android user. Um, the 15 Pro Max has like a really good zoom too, but I did my research and it still does not compare to the camera capabilities that the Samsung Galaxy S24 has, especially the Ultra. So those are some of the reasons why I thought about switching back to an iPhone, but ultimately I decided to stay an Android user. And now that I got this new uh, Samsung S24 Galaxy Ultra, I'm kind of glad uh, because I also remembered that once I became more acquainted um, with the Android, the Pixel that I had, I liked it because it worked more like a small computer um, and what I mean by that you know just like the the uses of it and I'm not like I didn't dive too deep into it I'm not a super you know av like savvy user of Androids yet but from what I did use and what I was able to explore it worked more like a little computer like a personal assistant like as far as learning routines and uh, as far as of what I've um, learned about the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, it also works like that and even probably better than the Pixels. Another reason I'm really excited about this Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is that it does come with a really fast processor. So I know that it's gonna run a lot faster. Um, I'm gonna be able to have like a lot more apps and things open at the same time and it's not gonna slow down. It's not gonna like freeze because it has that capacity um, with the RAM. Um, the processor so I'm really excited about that there's probably a lot more that I still need to learn and that I can learn to even you know make the most of it so again if somebody has advice tips suggestions um, let me know if you're a more experienced seasoned um, Android and Samsung Galaxy especially Samsung Galaxy user no hate again no hate to iPhone users this is just 
the, this review that I'm doing um, after unboxing my first Samsung Galaxy. Um, even though Android users, we do get a lot of hate from iPhone users, just as far as like the bubbles on the text messages, which that doesn't bother me. I really don't mind being the green bubble. It's really more of an iPhone problem from what I have researched. Apparently, iPhone is the only system that does that because it's only meant to be compatible with other iPhone users and everybody else in the world, you know, all the other um, phones in the world systems are compatible with each other except for iPhone. So it's really an iPhone problem. But again, I'll leave that to the experts to explain better. I just know like the surface knowledge of that, but I know that's a fact uh, as far as my research goes, but I don't, I can't dive into the details. I just know it's more of an iPhone problem. So it just finished tra transferring everything over. Overall, super similar to the Pixel home screen. Um, Obviously, you know, they're Android, so didn't expect it to be that much different um, when it comes to like the system and apps and the way everything looks. I'm familiar with it now uh, because of the Pixel that I had. So, yep, we have our phone gallery and this is probably going to come in handy when editing photos and videos. Well, that brings me to the end. Um, I can't wait to continue playing with it and seeing what more I can do with the new phone. And I can't wait to check out the camera for videos and pictures. And I will be reporting back on that once I have some time to play around with it so that I know if it was indeed the best decision to get this and become a Samsung Galaxy user or if I should have gone back to the iPhone. We'll see.